over a billion animals have been killed by wildfires in Australia. Quote, Australia is the canary in the coal mine, a University of Sydney professor said. A whopping 8.4 million hectares have burned this season. That's an area larger than South Carolina. So, do we have evidence a changing climate is to blame? Yes, we do. The country's Bureau of Meteorology says 2019 was 1.52 C above average. Hotter than normal temps equals longer, more intense heat waves. The Bureau tracks these conditions in a forest fire danger index, which has worsened significantly since the 1970s, especially along the coast. And there's other data to back this up. Take droughts, for example. They're more likely to happen during heat waves. Australia experienced its most widespread drought ever last year, since records began 120 years ago. So, the causality, above average temperatures, more heat waves, less water, and worse fire conditions, is pretty well known, right? New research from Dr. Timothy Graham, an expert on social network analysis from Queensland University of Technology, shows Twitter bots are promoting a, quote, disinformation campaign to confuse the public. We cover academic studies like this, Subscribe to join us. Graham found bot profiles on Twitter are promoting the hashtag arson emergency, claiming climate change wasn't responsible for the fires, but rather, inaccurately, that environmental advocates were starting the fires themselves for political reasons. After scraping tweets from the first week of January, he analyzed them using a tool that assigns a probability of being a bot. Here's how normal distribution looks for the hashtag Bushfire Australia. A large number of humans scored zero on the scale, and some bots scored one. Here's the hashtag Australia Fire. But there's something different about the breakdown, or histogram, for the hashtag Arson Emergency. A higher than normal portion of users discussing it are suspected bots. Graham told journalists he's confident it is a coordinated disinformation campaign, though he can't say for sure how sophisticated it is and who is behind it. Whoever it is, though, they're pushing a narrative of climate denial and, even more dangerously, hinting at aggression towards environmental activists. Such as this tweet, which claims New South Wales had arrested 200 people for deliberately starting the bushfires with the intent of blaming it on climate change. That number is false. The actual figure is 24, and a fraction of those actually started fires. Bots have also circulated rumors that local police blame arsonists. Victoria Police countered this, telling The Guardian they had no evidence any of their bushfires were caused by arson. The disinformation campaign was also seen pushing ideas that lightning was responsible, not a changing climate. This is misleading. Fire service officials have said some large fires were caused by lightning. But here's why that matters. A warmer Australia with record-setting drought creates more tinder subject to flammability from lightning strikes. The two are connected, frankly, in an obvious way. And that's it. That's all we have for today's episode. It shouldn't require channels like ours to correct misinformation, especially when it risks the lives of people and animals living in harm's way. Search engines, aggregators, and social media platforms must do better at ranking informative, unbiased content. Some things are only designed to mislead.